Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blood Daz. I'm Gaina. Just the two of us today, gay. Yes. Which means Golden Girls. Yay. Get back a bit more Golden Girls. Yeah. Um, it's not for Aiden. Doesn't no. really. Uh... He doesn't find it at all. No, it's not. His, it's not his type of comedy. No. Like any comedy, though, it's very subjective comedy. Yeah. No, it's uh, everyone's different. Yep. Yeah. But uh, again, I'm trying to get, try to find my way around the characters. Yeah. So like, it's all new to me. I've never seen it apart from when we've done a couple of reactions to yeah. them. Uh, but Dorothy's most savage moments. Dorothy's the she in the middle, the one in the red. Yes. There. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. Dorothy's most savage moment, the Golden Girls. If I'd had the money, I could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with. I better not say anything till I've had my coffee. <laughs> a slut and a moron. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. It must be decaf. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, Ma. That's superstitious nonsense. You know, step on a crack, break your mother's back. It doesn't work. I know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I tried. I think I can... What cracks me up is they're only supposed to be in the 50s. I know, And I they know. look about yeah, 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> handle this relationship with Dirk. I'm going out with him Saturday night. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> Momentarily. This is strictly off the record, but Dirk's nearly five years younger than I am. Then what, Blanche? Dog years? <laughs> Blanche Devereaux? Just a moment. My rear tires have less pressure. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I heard screams. What's happening? No, nothing. Everything's fine, Blanche. Oh. We never should have watched Psycho. Oh. <laughs> For 25 years, I have avoided that picture. Even when Stan invited me to the Roxy instead of over to his mother's house for dinner. And it turned out that my instincts were right. Norman Bates is scarier than my mother-in-law. <laughs> And a much better dresser. Oh, I never should have watched it either. It always upsets me, especially that shower scene. Oh. But it's the reason I prefer not to shower alone. <laughs> sure, Blanche. And Goldilocks and the Three Bears is why you prefer not to sleep alone. <laughs> Sonny, are you all right? I'll be fine. Is this about Arnie? No, Blanche. She's upset because they keep changing the taste of Coke. <laughs> oh, girls, I'm so sorry to be late. I ran out of gas on the way home. It was just horrible. Nobody would stop to help me. This could never have happened in the old South. What has become of chivalry when men used to open doors for you, pull out your chair, tip their hat, kiss your hand, help you down out of your carriage, leave calling cards and little silver salvers? So how far back do you want to go, Blanche? I mean, do you still want to be able to vote? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Harpleen, what are we going to do? Listen, girls, I have an idea. Now, I'm going to create a diversion by bending over and picking up something seductively. Then the two of you <laughs> sneak up behind him and give him a karate chop. Blanche, what do we look like? Charlie's Angels? <laughs> I have been told I bear a striking resemblance to Miss Cheryl Ladd. <laughs> Although my bosoms are perkier. <laughs> Not even if you were hanging upside down on a trapeze. <laughs> Wait, how many boyfriends could a naive farmer's daughter possibly have had? 56. <laughs> Excuse me? I had about 56 boyfriends. Of course, that was before I knew Charlie. I probably would have had more, but I wasn't allowed to start dating till I was a senior. <laughs> Fifty-six? Oh God, stand back. She's gonna blow. What do you mean you had 56 boyfriends? You told me you were a virgin till you got married. Hey, you can have a boyfriend without having to go all the way. You cannot. <laughs> if that were true, Rose, that would mean you were a slut. Oh, come on. Blanche, how can you say that? So the woman had 56 boyfriends in one year. She's not a slut. Thank you, Doris. She is the slut. <laughs> I love this type of comedy meme. You know, like, like a very like offensive, like yeah. sarcastic. 
It's like the best type of comedy. And it's I funny think. when it comes from the older people yeah, as well. Yeah. Where are they supposed to live? Where, where's it based? Do you know? Um, no, I don't. Actually. No, I don't know. They've not, they've not I, mentioned that. I think it might be Miami. Right. Let us know in the comments where it's based. She's the grand poobah of slavery. <laughs> she is the easiest woman in this room. Dorothy Spornak, you take that back. The slut is dead. Long live the slut. <laughs> Ninety-eight pounds. I can't remember the last time I weighed 98. Probably college. Where'd you go to college, Blanche? The University of Jupiter? <laughs> Realize it's only two weeks till Phyllis Strickler's Memorial Day beach party. That means it's only two weeks till we have to get back to our bathing suits again. Well, I just slipped into last year's bikini, and uh, I think I look pretty good, but you give me your honest advice. Can I still pull it off? Right now, I'd be surprised if you could cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, come look at these old pictures. I think I must have been about 10 years old in this when Big Daddy just taught me how to ride a horse. <laughs> You were quite a little porker back then, weren't you? <laughs> I was a little chunky, that's all. Blanche, the horse's eyes are crossed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were fat. <laughs> Every little girl goes through that ugly stage. Yeah, ugly, yes, but this is ugly and fat. <laughs> Please, why don't we just show Mr. Vaughn around the theatre? Well, why don't I just do that myself, since I've had the most experienced performance here. Blanche, the parking lot doesn't count. I'll do <laughs> I will be looking for drugs. <laughs> we have Maalox and estrogen. <laughs> I'll make it up to you, Dorothy, I promise. <laughs> Listen, if there's ever a night where you can't sleep, I'll come to your room and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> don't ever do that. <laughs> I just had a thought. Congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Dorothy, what do you mean sneaking up on me like that? You scared me half to death. I'm sorry, Rose. Next time I walk into a dark room in the middle of the night, I'll send a mariachi band ahead of me. <laughs> Mrs. Bornack? <laughs> Mrs. Petrillo? Oh, good, you two are talking. We're not talking. I'm still furious with Ma for hooking me up with that matchmaker. That reminds me of a story about St. Olaf's most famous oh, matchmaker. Oh, please, Rose. <laughs> Spare me the endless, inane details of how Heidi Flug and Dougal Gergenplatz successfully matched a bull with a duck. <laughs> and how their daughter was a bull duck who ran a small tattoo parlor in Congo. <laughs> Dorothy, Sophia, I told the news director I was interested in the reporter's position, and guess what he did? A Danny Thomas spit take? <laughs> we have everything we need for the cruise. Girls, listen, maybe we don't have everything we need. But what are we missing? Well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. <laughs> no, Blanche is talking about... Uh... A Nestle's crunch? <laughs> <laughs> One over. And I'm a bag? <laughs> to the right. Didn't you grip? Condoms, Rose! Condoms, condoms, condoms! <laughs> Whatever happened to her? She colonized life on Venus. <laughs> She was 94 when I was six. She died, you idiot. <laughs> How did she die? <laughs> you know, we're not sure. One night, she left in her wheelchair and she never came back. The next day, the neighborhood kids had a go-kart with two really big <laughs> that is a happy woman in there. Now, I want you to promise that you will not say anything. Do you promise? Do you promise? <laughs> Are you sure? But what's got me so sad? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I just... <laughs> I just never, never had two better friends. I just can't stand the thought of leaving you. 
Blanche, you look gorgeous. Oh. Shut up, Rose. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. Stop! <laughs> Boy, life sure has a way of throwing you curveballs. When I was younger, I never would have imagined that I'd be worrying about money at this stage of my life. I used to think Stan would take care of me. I mean, we didn't have much saved, but he was a darn good novelty salesman. Sounds naive now to think that I placed my hopes for the future on a bald pinhead with the morals of a maggot who made his living selling plastic dog do. <sighs> well, at least I'm not bitter. Dorothy, <laughs> guess who's here? My date. Your husband. I don't have a husband. Call the police. <laughs> Your ex-husband. I'll call the police. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's me, Stan. Dorothy. <laughs> In the future, I would appreciate a little advance notice when you're expecting a gentleman. I realize this time it's only Stan, but next time it could be somebody appealing or charming or at least reasonably good-looking. No offense, Stan. <laughs> I'm taken. Dorothy, could we talk for a minute? Of course, for a minute. Come on. You bring your wife with you, or did you make her stay home and clean out her toy box? <laughs> Ma, don't you remember? I told you, Stan and Chrissy got a divorce. I thought you said Stan and Chrissy got a horse. <laughs> I'm 80. You gotta enunciate. Don't get me wrong. Horse, divorce, I could care less. I just hate being left with egg on my face. <laughs> All right, Stan, what's wrong? <laughs> what makes you think there's something wrong? Oh, please, Stan, we were married for 38 years. You can disguise your bald head, but you can't hide your emotions. <laughs> now, what's wrong? I lost it, Dorothy. You never had it, Stanley. <laughs> Girls, just wait until you see the little number I picked up at the museum banquet. Here I come. <laughs> I don't believe it. It, it, it. it can't be. Hey, don't panic. Pick up one for Rose so you can go with the pointer system. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dorothy, what are we going to do about this? We are not going to do anything. Blanche, it has taken me a whole month to find this dress. You are simply going to have to take yours back. Oh, Dorothy, be reasonable. This dress looks so much better on me than it does on you. Hi, girls. Oh, I love your dress. I am not taking mine back. I am not taking mine back. Oh, girls, I really need to talk Dorothy, to you. this is crazy. Since when do you care how you look? <laughs> I think it started when I came down from the bell tower and had my hump fixed. Buddy's <laughs> going back to Boston on Saturday. This dress looks sensational on me. People expect to see me in a sensational dress. Oh, what do they expect to see me in? A yarmulke and a hefty bag? <laughs> Okay, girls, which goes better, the silver chain or the pearls? The chain. An amateur's mistake. Can't you see that the chain accentuates the many Seriously, folds yeah. of that yeah. turkey-like neck? <laughs> <laughs> well, that may be, but the pearls draw attention to the non-existent bosom. <laughs> Yes, but the chain leads the eye even lower to that huge spare tire. <laughs> Jutting out over those square, manly hips. <laughs> Why don't I just wear a sign that says, too ugly to live? Fine, but what are you going to hang it from, the chain or the pearl? <laughs> Neither. I'm going to spray paint it on my hump. <laughs> How do I look? Great, Dorothy. You going out with Eddie again? Yes. Oh, by the way, uh, Blanche, I borrowed your gold earrings, if that's okay. Oh, it's fine, but I do think I should caution you. They were meant for petite ears. <laughs> They'll just have to do until Disney unveils their Dumbo line. Oh, my goodness, look what I found. Double fudge cookies. I thought we agreed not to keep cookies in the house. Right, after this last box. You're not going to eat them, are you? Oh, no, Rose. We're going to go to some dumb country and try to use them as money. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Rose, honey, I hope you don't mind. I borrowed your golf glove. I have a date to play this morning. With a man? Uh, no, Blanche, with a Venus flytrap. <laughs> of course, with a man. Is it Raymond again? 
As a matter of fact, yes. Raymond, isn't he the guy you picked up at the grocery store? I did not pick him up. He asked me if I could recommend a good coffee. And then I threw myself underneath his shopping cart. <laughs> I think he sounds really nice. He is, he is. We've had a wonderful time together these past few weeks. You know, girls, I really like him. And I think he likes me. Just don't ruin it and sleep with him. <laughs> of course not, Ma. I only do that with men I plan to scar psychologically. I am the smartest woman in the whole world. And I am the pygmy queen. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Blanche, what would you say if I got a permit that would let you have as many people stay here as you want? Is that it? Finished on that? Well, mm. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you didn't believe me. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> She's got that face, hasn't she? The face suits the character. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's like proper, like serious, like. I think the the pick the, the 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 best actresses that they mm. could have, they all kind of really click together. Yeah, they fit the uh, fit the profile, yeah. but it's, uh, yeah, she's a uh, a face just fits that character. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Funny that. No, that was it. good. That I enjoyed that, right? I can't believe I never watched it when it was out. No, no, it's like, it's like I say, I've seen it. I'd like when you're flicking through channels, yeah, and you yeah. see it on. I always just bypass yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I know it's, uh, it's never something I've sort of like flicked on, mm. but it's uh, yeah, I, I enjoy yeah, it. It's funny. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Cheers.